Okay, so Tuesday the 28th on the Compete program, we're looking at the Metcon that we have ski erg and deadlifts. So you're gonna start with the 21.59 using one uh, set weight, rest three minutes, and then you'll go to five rounds of the 10 calories and five deadlifts at a, um, for the elite and intermediate is a heavier weight. For the RX, you're gonna keep the same weight all the way through. Um, the goal here is to choose a scaling that you know you can apply some good intensity to. So if you're looking at that, I think the main decision usually comes between should I do RX or Elite? Um, it starts with the same loading, um, RX and Elite one, but the Elite athletes would have the ability to then go up in weight and still apply a lot of intensity to that. So you're looking at those five rounds, 10 calories and five deadlifts being at least EMOM, but if not faster, probably more like 45 seconds around for the guys, a little bit closer to EMOM for the girls because that skier is just going to take a little bit longer. So if you know that 125 or 84 is now a weight where you really have to take some breaks before you lifted that, then stick with the RX and just keep the pace because that's what we're looking for in this workout. A little tip that I put in there, because this is a lot of hinging, is on the skier to try and use your legs as much as possible so just kind of bending at the legs a little bit more than you usually would and letting the weight sort of really pull down and drop down um into almost a little a little bit more of a squat position not so much of a hinge okay not doing a full squat of course but just trying to change up the movement pattern so it's not exactly the same as what you're doing in the deadlift to try and keep the uh, lower back and posterior chain just a little bit more fresh so you can get straight into the deadlifts and just rip those reps as fast as you can.